Did you know that you can create coming soon and maintenance pages using Elementor's built-in functionality? Let me show you how you do it in this video. Let's get started. All right, so where do you find the Elementor Builders coming soon and maintenance settings? Uh, you're going to go on the left-hand side and it's not going to be under settings. It's actually going to be under tools. So we're going to click on that. And then one of the tabs that you see up here is called maintenance mode. We're going to click on that again. And then this is going to take you to this screen. Uh, so here you're able to set the website as maintenance mode, meaning the site is offline temporarily for maintenance. Or you can set it as coming soon mode, meaning the site is offline until it's, reached, it's ready to be launched. So from this page, you can choose a few, a few modes. You have disabled, which is when your website is you know, active as it normally would be. You have a coming soon option, which basically tells the search engines that the website is ready to be indexed, but it's not fully ready yet. And then you have maintenance mode, which is when you're doing some work to the website and the website is just temporarily down. You want to make sure that this does not stay on for very long. Just make sure that you disable it once you're done working with the maintenance. The next option is who can access. So essentially, who can access the, the website um, without hitting the maintenance of the coming soon page. So you can choose either anybody that's logged in or you can choose a custom role. So whether we just want administrators and editors to have access or you just want administrator to have access. So this is where you can control this. For our purposes, we're just going to hit logged in and that should give us enough uh, access for anybody who needs to be able to make changes. Now on the next one, you'll be able to choose a template. So for example, if you create a maintenance template and you create a coming soon template, you will have two options here to choose from. You can have multiple of each. So if you click on create now, you'll be taken to the next screen, which is where you actually get to create your template. In this case, we're going to call it coming soon. And then we're going to hit publish. So we're going to hit edit with Elementor now to go into the Elementor editor and modify the screen. So naturally in a coming soon page or a maintenance page, you don't want people to access the internal pages. So you don't want to show the header and you don't want to show the footer. Number one, that's confusing. Number two, it doesn't really make much sense. So the first thing I like to do is go into the settings cogwheel here on the bottom left, on the top of that. And then on the page layout, I'm just going to choose Elementor Canvas. So what this does is it gives you a completely blank template to work with uh, without the header and the footer. We're going to go ahead and hit publish. And then we're going to back into the talk wheel and just make sure that we hide the title. Hit update. All right. So now all we have to do is style the page. So we're going to hit on the plus icon here. So then we're going to choose just a full width uh, section. We're going to hit the middle of the tab here to select the section. And then we're going to go into style. Under the background, we want to make sure we use an image. All right, so it looks nice and good. We're going to hit classic and we're going to choose an image. I already uploaded this image, so it's a little bit faster and I'm going to hit select. Now, obviously, you'll notice that the image don't, does not go 100% height. We can correct that fairly simple by going to layout. We're going to make the height adjustment to minimum height and we're going to choose viewable height as the option. And then we're going to type in 100. That's going to ensure that the viewport for this section is 100%. Next, we are going to go into style again. And the image size, we want to make sure it's set to full to make sure we're using the highest quality possible for this image. And then the position, we want it to be center center. Now, obviously, this depends on your image. If your image looks better on the bottom, so bottom center, that's fine. But for our purposes, center center makes the most sense. We don't want the image to repeat and we want to make sure that it's set to cover. That way the image just takes a nice amount of space here in our viewport. All right, next up, we're going to want to set a coming soon page and we're going to want to put the company name here in the center. Just when somebody goes to the website, they know what website they visited. So we're going to click on the widget icon and we're going to upload. We're going to move over a heading widget and we want to move over a second head wedding Sorry, second heading is widget. The first widget is going to be our company name. So we're going to type in Juicy Byte. And the second heading is just saying coming soon. All right. 
Now we want both of these to be centered. So I just center them real quick. And then we're going to style them so that you can kind of read it a little bit better. So because Juicy Bite is our main headline for our coming soon page, we're going to make sure we set that to H1 for purposes of SEO. Then we're going to go into style and we're going to change the color to something that we can actually read. And then we're going to choose the page headline class that we kind of already have set up here on the global fonts. For the, as you can kind of see here, actually, it's a little bit hard to read. So we're going to give it a little bit of a drop shadow and that's going to kind of help it stand out a little bit from the background. And then we're going to basically add an overlay to the background. So this is a little bit darker and the text can stand out even more. So we're going to go back to the section selector. We're going to go to the style tab, choose background overlay, hit the classic button, and then we're going to choose the color. Now I like to choose the dark color most of the time because that kind of gives you a little bit of better contrast. But you know, you want to make sure that it's not too dark where it looks just a little bit, um, you know, just too dark in general. So I think that looks pretty good. Next up, we're going to just modify the coming soon text so it looks a little bit more on brand and it just stands out a little bit more. So here we have coming soon and we're going to choose our H2 tag. I think that's already looking much better. We're also going to give it a little bit of a drop shadow, just 5%, so it stands up a little bit better and then hit update. Okay, so this is currently what this page looks like. We're going to just hit here on preview, view page, and as you see what it looks like on our tab, this is looking really good. Um, but I think it's it could use a little bit more umph. So for example, one of the things you could do here is add a subscription to your mailing list. So some kind of form at the bottom here. So people are able to subscribe to your MailChimp account or you just, you know, just collect the emails and then worry about what email service you use later on. So I'm just gonna give you a quick look on how you do that and then just check out our other video on how to add a MailChimp uh, integration just using um, Elementor's built-in form functionality. So let's close this tab real quick and let me show you how to do that. We're going to go into the widgets and I'm gonna type in form and that's gonna filter it down to the form widget. We're gonna drop that in and it's, look, it's gonna look a little crazy. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to wanna use an intersection and I'm going to delete this column here so it's 100%. And I'm just going to move the form to the intersection that we just created. All right, so there it is. A quick intersection, um, choose percentage, remove the link, and just add 30% left and right. And I think it already looks pretty good. So since we're just currently for this coming soon page, we want to just collect the email address, we can get rid of the other fields. So we don't need the name, we don't need the message, and we don't need the label. Here already says email, so I think it's kind of self-explanatory for people. We're going to um, we're going to choose the button and we're going to write in join our mailing list so people know what they're signing up for. Okay, looks pretty good. And then we're gonna make this button, I think we're gonna make it, no, I think I can leave it like that. I think it looks pretty good as it is. All right, so we're going to go to actions after submit. So these are the things that happen after you hit the submit button. We don't want to send us an email. We just wanna collect the submissions. And again, like I mentioned, if you wanted to use um, MailChimp or if you wanted to use Active Campaign or ConvertKit or MetaLite, you can choose that as an action after the form is filled out or you can just choose MailChimp and then after you hit on MailChimp here, you're able to select, you know, the the audience that you want to link to. Again, there'll be a another video on how to do that within Elementor coming soon. All right. So for now, we're just going to collect the emails into our Elementor backend. Okay, let me see if I make something. I'm just gonna call this coming soon, just for the sake of being completely thorough. All right, so we're gonna just look at this.
preview the page and see how it's looking. It's looking really good. The last thing I need to do is just add some kind of context, some kind of text here that says what you want them to do. So why they should join our mailing list. So join our mailing list to know when we launch. You know, you can write any number of things, messages here. We're going to make that white so it's easier to read. We're going to center it. We're going to add a little bit of a drop shadow to this white as well. And we're going to just choose one of our global fonts called, uh, what do you call it? Description larger, just so it sends out a little bit more. Hit update one more time. Refresh the page. And here we go. Juicy bike coming soon. You're on our mailing list to know when we launch. All right. So that's the basics of designing the page. Now, the last thing we want to do is make sure we turn this on. And, and you know, you're going to want to go into responsive mode and go into mobile and just make sure that it looks good. For example, here, this looks terrible. So we're going to want to remove the padding just on this viewport. So we're going to choose the intersection and we're going to remove this padding here and just let it go 100% to the sides because there's some nice spacing here around it. Hit update and let's look how it looks on the tablet. Here we're just going to have a little bit less padding as well. So again, we're going to choose the intersection and we're going to reduce this to just 10% left and right. And I think that already looks really good. Let's put 15%. We don't want it to be too big. Perfect. Hit update. And now we cover all our bases. We have the mobile view. We have the tablet view. We have the desktop view. Uh, Everything is looking really good. Let's refresh. Make sure nothing looks odd. Perfect. Now we're going to go into our WordPress dashboard. We're going to go into dashboard. Perfect. And then we're going to go down to Elementor tools to go back into the maintenance mode. So we're going to click on maintenance mode. And now we're going to choose the mode that we kind of want to be in. So we're going to go into coming soon. We're going to who can access it. Anybody that's logged in. And we're going to choose the coming soon template and hit save changes. Once you do that, you'll notice that this maintenance mode on, it turns, turns on. And this kind of indicates that now when somebody goes to the website, if they're not logged in, let's just open an incognito window and type in Juicy Byte. Now you'll notice that if you're not logged in, you get a coming soon page. And it works really, really well. And if you go as a somebody who's logged in, right, so you go your site, you're able to see the full website without any problem. All right, similar if you had a maintenance mode selected, right, and you hit, you just created a choose template and you select the template that's for maintenance, the same will happen as well. All right, so let's disable it for a second just to show you. And then actually you can choose here coming soon. Let's make sure you save that. So it's attached to each other. And then we're just going to disable it. And then now you see that the message is gone. And then you can navigate the website as normal. And if you go into the incognito window, you see that the website is back on. And that's it. That's very simple. That's how it works. You don't need to do anything else. And, and that's how you build a coming soon or maintenance mode page within Elementor. I hope you found this useful. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you soon.